It's Thursday, so that means it's the real deal. And today we're gonna to take a look at the housing supply and what it means for sellers. One of the hottest topics of conversation in today's real estate market is the shortage of available homes. Simply put, there are many more potential buyers than there are homes for sale. As a seller, you've likely heard that low supply is good news for you. It means your house will get more attention and likely more offers. But as life begins to return to normal, you may be wondering if that's something that will change. While it may be tempting to blame the pandemic for the current inventory shortage, the pandemic can't take all the credit. While it did make some sellers hold off on listing their houses over the past year, the truth is the low supply of homes was years in the making. Let's take a look at the root causes and what the future holds to uncover why now is still a great time to sell. It's not just today's high buyer demand. Our low supply goes hand in hand with the number of new homes built over the past decades. According to Sam Kada, VP and Chief Economist at Freddie Mac, quote, the main driver of the housing shortfall has been the long-term decline in the construction of single family homes. Data in a recent report from the National Association of Realtors tells the same story. New home construction has been lagging behind the norm for quite some time. Historically, builders completed an average of 1.5 million new housing units per year. However, since the housing bubble in 2008, the level of new home construction has fallen off. The same NAR report elaborates on the impact of this below average pace of construction. Quote, the underbuilding gap in the US totaled more than 5.5 million housing units in the last 20 years. Looking ahead, in order to fill an underbuilding gap of approximately 5.5 million housing units during the next 10 years, while accounting for historical growth, new construction would need to accelerate to a pace that is well above the current trend, to more than 2 million housing units per year. That means if we build even more new homes than the norm every year, it still takes a decade to close the underbuilding gap, contributing to today's supply and demand mix. Does that mean today's ultimate seller's market is here to stay? We've already started to see an increase in new home construction, which is great news, but newly built homes can't bridge the supply gap we're facing right now. In the State of the National Housing 2021 report, the Joint Center of Housing Studies of Harvard University says, quote, although part of the answer to the nation's housing shortage, new construction can only do so much to ease the short-term supply constraints. To meet today's strong demand, more existing single-family homes must come on the market. Early indicators show more existing home inventory is on its way. When we look at the existing homes, the latest reports signal the housing supply is growing gradually month over month. This uptick in existing homes for sale shows things are beginning to shift. Based on the recent data, Odeda Kushi, Deputy Chief Economist at First American, has this to say, quote, it looks like existing inventory is starting to inch up, which is good news for housing market parched. For more supply. Lawrence Young, Chief Economist at the National Association of Realtors, echoes that statement. Quote, as the inventory is beginning to pick up ever so modestly, we are still facing a housing shortage, but we may have turned a corner. So what does this mean for you? Just because life is starting to return to normal, it doesn't mean you missed out on the best time to sell. It's not too late to take advantage of today's seller's market and use rising equity and low interest rates to make your next move. Here's the bottom line, ladies and gents, it's still a good time to sell. Even though housing supply is starting to trend up, it's still hovering near historic lows. Let's connect and discuss how you can list your house now and use the inventory shortage to get the best possible terms for you. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. So as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. It will mean the world to me. We'll see you next week.